Hi everyone, Justin again here, and in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how Nick, the CEO of Dashboard, trades using the Dashboard product. This is a very simple strategy. This is something that for many years, his students have been asking, hey, can you please share your personal trading strategy? And this is exactly it. This is so simple that a five-year-old can do it as long as you know what a shark fin looks like, and I will show you exactly what that looks like here in a few moments. As long as you can identify a shark fin on a specific indicator that we are going to give you absolutely free of charge within the dashboard product itself, you can succeed at trading. So the first thing you want to do is you want to sort the trades by status. And you do that by clicking the button up here that says status. What Nick loves to do is he loves to sort it based on the lowest peak formation all the way to the highest peak formation. Once you've sorted it from lowest to highest peak formation, Nick tends to go for the ones that just started a new trend. So let's take a look at AUD CAD as an example. There's a gold check mark, which means that it's a fresh new trend and it's one PFL, meaning one day ago, the bullish trend just started. So when we click on AUD CAD, I already have it opened up right here. As you can see, one day ago, the bullish trend started. So now let's hop on over to our MetaTrader chart and let's look at this custom indicator you're gonna get free of charge. By the way, if you are wondering where you can get this indicator, all you would need to do is you're gonna click on the university section. So when you click on university, you're going to click on files and you will see the indicator right here if it's not already there. So here we are on the MetaTrader 4 platform. Please keep in mind that the indicator you got for free so far is only for MetaTrader 4, but I do believe we will have a MetaTrader 5 one in the near future if you don't already see it within Dashboard. Now, this is very important. Once you install the indicator onto MetaTrader, you wanna make sure you only have two lines here, this green one and this red one. If you see any other lines here, it's very simple to modify. All you need to do is you right click on the chart, you click indicator list, you're gonna double click on the indicator we gave you for free. You're going to scroll down and you want your settings to look like this. So only the extreme high is at 80 and only the level low is at 30. Once that is correct, you press OK and it should look exactly like this. Now let's go back to dashboard so we can see exactly where the peak formation started. As you can see right here on the one hour time frame for AUD CAD, peak formation low started right here. So let's find that exact point on MetaTrader. We go here and we're on the one hour time frame for AUD CAD. The peak formation low started right here. Now, Nick, what he likes to do is he likes to look for a shark fin on this TDI indicator. And I will show you what it looks like one moment. He likes to look for a shark fin on the one hour time frame and or the 15 minute time frame. Those are pretty much the two time frames that he will pay attention to. Now, let me show you what a shark fin looks like. On this indicator, you wanna make sure you see two things. One, you need to see a shark fin, and two, that shark fin has to be either at the bottom of this blue line or the top of this blue line. Let me show you an example. And let me draw a line right here just so you can keep this as a reference of where the peak formation low started. Let's go over here to the 15 minute time frame. On the 15 minute time frame, let me show you what a shark fin looks like. This right here is a perfect example of a shark fin. Pretty sure you've seen one. You've seen it on Jaws, the movie, TV, video games. You know what a shark fin looks like. So this right here is a perfect example of a shark fin. There are different variations and different sizes of shark fins. You want to make sure you are only looking for big shark fins. You do not want to look for small shark fins. This right here technically does look like a shark fin, and it is a shark fin, but it's not the kind of shark fin that we are looking for. Again, we are only looking for big shark fins such as this one. So let's take a look. Right here was where the peak formation low started on the one hour time frame. This means we only want to get into buy positions. We do not want to get into sell positions. So rule number one is you identify the trend using dashboard. So because we're in a bullish market, we only want to get into buy positions. Rule number two, you want to look for a shark fin. Great. We found a shark fin on the 15 minute time frame. Remember, it can either be on the one hour or the 15 minute time frames. Rule number three, that shark fin has to be at the bottom of this blue line or the top of this blue line. That is it, simple and you are done. The moment you see that shark fin right here, the moment you see that shark fin at the blue line, 
And as long as it lines up with dashboard, in this case, we're in a bullish market because it says peak formation low. We see this shark fin at the bottom of this blue line. That is a good sign for a buy. So the moment this shark fin formed, you would have placed your buy position somewhere here when this was done forming. You would have placed your buy somewhere here. And look at how many pips AUD CAD spiked up after we would have gotten into the buy position. It spiked up by 80 pips before falling down and then ranging here within this price zone. So this right here is a perfect example of a trade that you could have gotten into because of dashboard and because of how Nick identifies shark fins using this specific TDI indicator. Now it is currently the following day and I want to show you the results from AUD CAD. We go back to the setup I showed you. We got into a buy position right here and we placed our stop loss below the low, which is down here. So somewhere down here could be where your stop loss is. And as you can see, it never fell below the zone, so it never hit our stop loss. And if it did hit our stop loss, it would have been a pretty small loss. So we would have gotten into the trade somewhere right here after the close of this candle or this candle, whenever this shark fin closed. So we would have gotten into the buy right here. And so far, AUD CAD spiked up by 120 pips. So this is the power of dashboard. When you combine it with Nick's strategy, you can get into some pretty insane trades. So if you ever wonder how much money Nick is making or how many pips he's catching, now you know. I hope that was a very simple approach of how Nick trades the market on a daily and weekly basis. Now let's hop back onto dashboard and let's see if we can find another example of a trade right now. So now we are looking at the pair NZD USD. And as you can tell, it is a fresh new trend, which is a bullish market. You know it's a new trend because of the gold check mark. So when you click on NZD USD, the first thing you see is peak formation low right here, which means the bullish market just started right here. So that's rule number one. We just identified that we are in a bullish market. Rule number two, let's hop over to MetaTrader and let's look for a shark fin. So on the one hour time frame, here is where the peak formation low started. So let's go ahead and mark a line just so we so we're all on the same page. This is where the peak formation low started. So rule number two, do we see any type of shark fin down here? That is obvious a big shark fin. Remember, remember, we want to look for big shark fins, not small ones. The answer is no, we do not see any big shark fins anywhere here. So let's go to the 15 minute time frame and check. Do you see any big shark fin something that is obvious? The answer is yes. This is a perfect example of a shark fin. The shark fin is right here at the bottom of the blue line. So that fulfills our three rules. Number one, we identified that we are in a bullish market. Rule number two, we see a shark fin right here, a big clear shark fin. And rule number three, that shark fin is at the bottom of this blue line. And you see how this shark fin is almost touching the green line. It's kind of hard to see the green line here, but there is a green line down here. It's almost touching that green line. So that is also a good sign. So let's look straight up. And as you can see, that shark fin formed pretty much right here around this price. So if you want to place a trade, a great trade would have been a buy position right here. Our stop loss would have been below this right here, below this low. So from here to here, that's about 40 to 50 pip stop loss but we could easily ride this up all the way up here at least 80 to 100, maybe 130, 40 pips in profit. So if you would have been holding this trade this entire time, you would have gone down, it would have been very close to your stop loss, but it would have not hit your stop loss and you would be currently 40 pips in profit. This is one example of a trade that went in drawdown, but eventually in profit. And now that we're in profit, we could have easily set our stop loss to break even and you let it ride. Okay, so now I am recording the aftermath of what happened with NZD USD. So once again, dashboard said peak formation low. We found a shark fin and the shark fin was at the bottom of this blue line. Therefore, we place a buy right here. Again, we came very close to our stop loss, which would have been below this low right here. And you could have easily placed or take profit somewhere up here at the nearest high. So let's count how many pips away you would have been. Let's assume you would have entered right here and your take profit would have been right here. That's about 85 pips. And right now, NZD USD is still climbing currently 120 pips in profit. So this is an example of a perfect trade you could, you could have gotten into with dashboard. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something new. And I hope you can see how simple this is. This is not something that you want to overcomplicate it and stress yourself out. 
you want to make sure that no matter what you do in trading, in life in general, make sure that whatever you do, you keep it as simple as possible. And this is a very simple strategy that anyone can follow. So that's it for this video, and I will see you in the next one.